let's talk about some tips for the groove pool. Right now, you are hearing a beat I created with my Super Tape Drums Ableton Live Pack. And if we look at this clip, we have 16th note grids, and you'll notice my performance is a little bit off time. And you can hear that with the metronome, they're just not lining up right. So I'm gonna go right click in the groove pool and select Browse Groove Library. I'm gonna select this MPC uh, Swing 50 and it'll show up in my groove pool. So just so you know what everything does here, the bass shows which notes will get quantized by the groove. Right now it's set to eighth notes. I'm working with 16th, so I'm gonna switch that to 16th notes. Quantize. This will quantize your performance before the groove is applied. Next we have timing, which adds a percentage of groove, anywhere from zero from 100, just like on the quantize. We can add some random values, which will kind of move things away from the grid at a random percentage that you select. And velocity affects the velocity timing, or how hard you hit your pads, or how hard you hit your keys. So. What I'm going to do here is some non-destructive quantization. So I'm going to select the groove here on our clip and play the clip back. And I can add some quantization. And now I've non-destructively quantized. So I can experiment with just how much quantization I like on my sound. Maybe I want about like, say, 85 or 84 percent. And then if I'd like, I can add my timing of my groove. But if I don't want to, I can still just use any groove to quantize non-destructively. Now, another cool thing you can do, I have playing here two different instruments playing the exact same melody. One's my Charlie Brown synths, and one is my wind chime synths. But they're doubling each other. Now in the real world, when two instrumentalists double each other, they're not going to hit the notes at exactly the same time. So this is kind of an unnatural sound. So what we can do to sort of make it a little more natural is we'll take, say, our Charlie Brown clip here, and I will select our groove. Um, we don't need it quantized because it's already quantized. And I'm just going to add a little random. And you'll start to hear these two performances slowly drift apart. We get to 100%. And there's a lot of distance between those notes. But if we bring it down a little lower, this sort of creates the effect of two players playing the same melody, but slightly off time because they are human beings without exactly perfect timing. So. The groove pool can be used not only to add grooves, but just to subtly affect the timing of your performances. And um, by adding some random timing to already quantize things, you can give it a little more life. Or you can quantize things such as this beat and make them on time. So I hope that tip helps you out a lot. The groove pool is super powerful and a lot of fun to play around with. So enjoy.